How's it going guys? My name is Alex and welcome to Fears of Fathom. So Fears of Fathom is a episodic horror series where you're playing as each and different individuals that have their own horror stories, which I think this is actually like based off of true events, which I believe because it says over here at the email that has they have an email if you have your own story to share then you guys can send it there but uh you guys definitely check this out really quickly before we go um my hair is purple now let's get that out of the way <laughs> i just think it looks cool i love it my wife actually done this for me and i think she did a really good job on her hard work so let's go ahead and keep our mouth shut and go jump right into this let's see that's right i got all the four episodes right now i'm gonna go ahead and put on my headphones let's see all right so home alone it's gonna be about 20 minutes or maybe a little less it all depends on what we have to do here Fears to Fathom, Episode 1, Home Alone, July 12th. Alright. I didn't want to put this on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I did. I don't even know where to start. I didn't know where to start with either. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. Nah, don't worry, I ain't got good either. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. <clears throat> Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Sorry, my throat was a little... Ugh. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day, though I did plan on fixing that. Well, that's good. I mean, if you plan on fixing it, then... Oh. Shut up! Okay. Did that closet just move? Okay, that was weird. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after I woke after I just woke up. Okay. Press escape to re messages. Let's see. Let's see, no need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Okay, I'm checking the fridge. Food was cold. Okay, hey. Game's really loud. It was nice and hot. I liked watching TV while I ate. Oh, same here. Always good to hit the spot when it comes to entertainment and eating. Oh, that's not right. I guess then, though, I'm just meant to ignore it. <laughs> Let's see, I was already feeling very sleepy. Okay. Mason Oliver, two text messages.
Guess I can't really move that. I'm guessing this Mason Oliver is not important. Okay. Uh, please move these. Oh, wait, there we go. I had to right click them instead. Okay. So I'll do all good. I'll probably just go back to bed after, after a gym. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Did I turn that TV off? Cause I really don't see any point of having the, having the TV on while nobody's really watching it. There we go. Okay. That's a little weird and funky. For some odd reason right now, I'm feeling a little unnerved about this. Okay. Okay. Doing my homework. That's something always the best thing to do, kids. Go to school. Do your homework. That's how you become the best YouTuber. <laughs> Let's see, 12.30 a.m. Got done with my homework. Okay. And it's the middle of the night. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I should get, I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula at this time. Okay. So there will be no hearing from, uh, from this Paula. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> like the game uh, glitched or something. One sixteen a.m. I got up to get some water. Hooray! I definitely know how that feels. Going up to get some water. What's that noise? Looks like my only way of knowing I'm gonna... Okay. Huh. Myself a water. Do I have got to fill it or... No, I can... I can just drink it. <sighs> I didn't think a 14 year old would have that deep of a voice. Yeah, I've already read the description of the game before I started the video, so. I just didn't think there was any point of, uh, of saying anything about it because, I mean, it's just, it's just about a 14-year-old who's home alone and about to get kidnapped if I'm not too careful. Jeez. Okay, am I just supposed to go upstairs or? Shut my door. Man, is this bottle ever going to get empty? Okay, I'm done. Hmm? What the hell is that? You there. Um, what? Oh, 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 shit. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. no, 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 get, get, get up there. Why aren't you running? Why aren't you running? Okay, okay, just hide. Okay, um, wait a minute. Uh, just click to hide and I'll check the messages then. Let's see, Paul sent me, um, 
said that he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Oh. Um. Okay. I'm not going to do anything. It's Paula at the door. Nope. I don't believe that. I do not believe that whatsoever. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay. 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 Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Nope. 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 Screw that. Screw that. Screw it. All right. Uh, do you hear me? It's Paul at the door. I'm so, so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. Come up here up the stairs and prove it. Until then, I'm not coming. Oh, ho, ho, the police. Oh, I think it's safe now. Usually that type of music is usually means that it's safe. A game by rail. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a very short but interesting game. Ah, and I bet that's my aunt. Hey, aunt. So, um, I was trapped here by some creepy old man. <laughs> 